the values. You look at Western values in Western society, and these are values we could all relate to, but they're old world values of grit and community and perseverance. It's a place where you can make a living with your back and your hands and a little bit of hard work. And it's a place of opportunity. And I think as Albertans, we're fiercely protective of that. The world's energy crisis has been grabbing newspaper headlines. In a nutshell, we're running short of petroleum resources and the prices are zooming upwards. My colleagues in the government and I have come reluctantly to believe that the price of oil in Canada must go up. This was Alberta. The origin of the Alberta separatist movement begins with the election of Pierre Trudeau as prime minister. It was, it was a deliberate and malicious targeting of the West, which suited Pierre Trudeau just fine, just like it suits Justin Trudeau just fine. Sunny ways, my friends. Blackface. There is an actual hostile government that was Alberta. Why did your dad give everyone in Western Canada the middle finger? Really, in politics, you do have to make uh, big decisions. And whenever you make this big decisions, there's going to be people who agree with it and people who don't disagree with it. Plenty of people want to leave this country. It's not the kind of idea you'd expect to hear from someone who wants to win power and hold power. It's a, it is a radical idea and you would normalize the discussion. And so maybe Alberta wouldn't have to go because maybe the rest of the country and the rest of the world would say, whoa, don't go. Will you accept these changes instead? That's what happened for Quebec. There's no Maple Leafs west of the Manitoba borders. Why do we, want, why do we have a Maple Leaf by unilateral decision on the Canadian flag? Think of how the American colonists were in 1775. That's how a lot of Albertans are today.